independent is that got us in as an opener for the last two years or so and so just to kind of work with us we've been working with them exclusively just playing at the independent when we're doing our big san francisco shows and uh they give us the opportunity in december to get yeah, a headline for the first time their sound is amazing i think it's the best place in the city to play of, of this size you know it's just it's awesome and the crew is uh so on it they're pro um Everybody that works here is cool and laid back and just a breeze to work with. They're fun. There's no weird analness or they're not like business greedy kind of like uh, guys. And that, in the industry, it does have some greedy people, you know, or some, some dickheads that you don't want to work with. We're just getting started. We're going to go nuts. This is the first uh, part of our nuts. Feel free to dance. Mom, whatever you want to do. Just go crazy. place to be because of our business model you know everybody here is friendly it's not like some other venues where people come in and they have security or bouncers you know we have security but we're more peacekeepers and just making sure everyone's accommodated and making sure everyone knows where the bathrooms are and you know we guide people and direct people but we're not like you know bouncers and like watching them and like you know policing them a lot of us have toured a lot of us have been on the other side a lot of us know what they want and um and how to be treated, and I think that makes a big difference. We've been working with artists from the beginning. You know, we did TV on the radio here when they sold 200 tickets. You know, so we've been building those artists and keep bringing them back every six months or four months, however, however the cycle works. And uh, we work with them, and they like working with us because we're, again, we're an independent promoter. <laughs> Great sight lines. I mean, that's that's really one of the things that, that people like about here is that you can you can stand anywhere and see the band. Um, I think our our sound is great. Our people are great. Um, you know, from from you know my boss, the general manager, down to the security. You know, we we, we keep it friendly, keep it friendly, and and just kind of let people do what they they need to do as long as they're not hurting anybody. Ladies and gentlemen of San Francisco, the last living unicorn on the planet, Mr. Jackson Clyburn. so they kind of know um, the other side of things you know it's not a bunch of like big shots trying to make money it's like people who are actually musicians a lot of them have toured before um, played lots of gigs stuff like that and um, so they just really know how to work with the artist and I think they really take care of the artists here they give us towels they give us towels yeah not every show. venue gives you towels it seems yeah. like a simple thing to put in there but well, actually i mean the thing is it's a smallish smallish place anyway and they get huge acts i mean like you look around look at look at the wall here i mean there's old people huge people like beck you know have played here jesus christ jesus christ himself played here that was a good before show before he was a superstar yeah, yeah. he's so much better than <laughs>
love the sound here, especially now since the bar has been moved to the back, and we love this venue. Everybody's so kind. The sound is great. There, there's definitely a specific vibe here with the staff and, um, you know, just the way the room sounds excellent. Yeah, the sound here is definitely good. Some of the clubs don't have the best sound in the city. <laughs> what band are you guys here to see tonight? Vagabond Opera. Me too. Okay, not Diego's Umbrella? Well, I like them too, but my um, friend is belly dancing with Vagabond Opera. Nice. There's belly dancing going on? Yes, there is. Oh, cool. Okay, I gotta, get, get, I gotta, I gotta get back in there pretty soon. So is this your first time at the Independent? No. So you, are you last Friday? What, what was what was last Friday? Uh, Phantom Round. Okay, nice. Um, so how many times have you been here? Would you say? Fifty, maybe. Fifty. <laughs> I used to come here. We have one was called Justice League, and they had these awesome twist uh, murals and stuff on the side. I have found bands here that I wasn't familiar with that I've grown to love. Um, like I saw MGMT play here one time. I had never heard of them at all. Yeah, but you mind? I, came, I think awesome. they're pretty popular now, aren't yeah. they? How many times have you been to the Independent? I would say 10 plus. What do you like about the Independent? Why, what makes you come back here to see shows all the time? Is it the bands? Is it the sound? I do like the sound. I think I like the small venue. I know it's like 500 person venue and it's a nice mix between like small bars and the mezzanine which is like my max a thousand people which I like. So, and it's intimate, it's nice, you can always see the stage, which is always a plus for a short person. And sometimes they yell for smoking cigarettes a little too close to the door, but understandable. There's, you know, city ordinances. Yeah.